What's up, homies? This is Jokesta, and the first gun on the list for the top 10 is the SPR. Now, there's three builds. This is the first build. I'm not really a big fan of this build. I don't like the six times scope. It just feels really slow. And honestly, if you if you like playing passive and you're okay with the six times scope, then this build is perfect for you. All you have to do is just play passive and have that distance, you know, have that long range, and you'll be good to go. So this is the six times scope. Now I'm gonna show you guys the second build. This is my favorite one that I'm gonna be showing you guys in a second. This is the build. I, I actually, I'm really comfortable with this build. I really like it. Um, I don't know, you know, like I feel like the scopes would make sense, but since this is a marksman rifle and um, honestly, I, I'd rather have a scope on there, but again, I played a lot better without it. And there's another solution for all of you guys out there if you're wondering like, okay, well, I don't want to play without, you know, scopes. I want to have a sight on there. Well, there is a third build, which is the red dot. The red dot is kind of good. It's removed the laser. So without the laser, your ADS is a little slow. And honestly, it's a personal choice. This is your choice if you want to play slow or you want to play fast or however you play, this is up to your play style. And that's why we got three of these builds for you guys. So yeah, I prefer the second one in my opinion. It felt better, felt good. So yeah, moving on to the next one. Second on the list is the MK2. The MK2 is a, also a marksman rifle. Unfortunately, none of the sniper rifles actually made it on the list. Um, you know, we were actually talking to a couple guys, and I'll, I'll get into that in a bit. In a bit, but um, the sniper rifles didn't make in this video at all. So it's just the marksman's rifles. The very first one that I'm going to show is this is the first build. I actually like the first build more than the second build um, because the second build has more of a uh, higher hitch hit flinch basically uh, whenever you get shot or like after you shoot it's just a lot harder to get back on target but even though you see this awesome clip i just got really lucky the very first uh, attachment is a lot better than the first second one because i was able to actually control the recoil a little bit better and after my shots you can see that i'm missing my first shot over there at the second target so yeah the the first one's just the difference is it's just the rear grips Moving on to number three on the list is the Peacekeeper MK2. Peacekeeper is making its way back onto the list. And honestly, it's an incredible weapon. It really is, it shoots fast, it gets the job done. I was able to get some gameplays with it, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to post them because I had some failures with my recording. Um, but overall, it was actually quite a decent gun. Like I'm really enjoying this a lot. I think this gun is definitely on its list. I'm probably going to be making videos on this weapon a little bit later in the future. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. That guy, that way you guys get alerted whenever I upload a video on this. Here's the build that I have for this. And it's really important that you have a task force barrel on this weapon. Next on the list is the BK-57. Believe it or not, BK-57 is really underrated. Like a lot of people don't understand this, but it's actually underrated and it's really good as well. It's just nobody really plays with it. And if you guys hear about it here, you're like, okay, maybe I should give it a shot. Definitely give it a shot. I actually think the BK is incredibly good. It's more for the passive players. So if you're out there and you're passive, you're not, you're not aggressive, you like to take it slow, this is the weapon for you. You can actually get the job done really quickly. Um, and you can also prone, it, it, it does all the feature, but the only downside on this is just the mobility is a little slow. It feels heavy compared to other weapons. So keep that in mind. And uh, also shout out to Viking and Path. They helped me build this list and with the gunsmith as well. Next on the list is the Razorback. Razorback is actually quite a good weapon in this season. I've thought about, you know, PDW. I've tried it out. I've asked a few people as well. They thought the PDW might be good as well, but PDW is not making it on this list for this season unfortunately but the razorback has seen some improvements some people have actually said wow the razorback is actually crazy good so it's actually kind of impressive that the razorback is making a comeback and it's really solid too you can use all kinds of skins right but you have to have this attachment that's like a faster fire rate or something like that you have to do a mission for it in order to unlock it but overall i was actually surprised by the results of this razorback it's quite good it's a perk right there called rapid fire my bad on that 
but overall if you have rapid fire on this build you're gonna actually do really good with it next on the list we have is the lk24 believe it or not the lk24 has been kind of good for a couple seasons but it was really underrated nobody really uses it but now it's actually making this way back on the top of the list the lk24 is really solid is very accurate as well so you can actually get your shots and another thing about this is the mobility like it's really solid it feels really quick and fast and you can actually run around the map doing your thing another thing that i've noticed in the competitive scene is that a lot of people are picking up the lk24 as a primary weapon as you know to play scrims or tournaments and stuff like that it's kind of cool to see that the lk is being used a lot now and it was kind of underrated kind of the underdog in a couple of this seasons like now a lot of people have been using it and a lot of people were kind of skeptical of it there's some people that actually liked it more than the can 44 if you guys remember the can 44 was kind of nice in like i think season seven or six or something like that um but it was a lot of a lot of popularity with the can 44 a while back and a lot of people looked at the lk24 because they had similar stats but with the lk24 now it's a lot stronger and it's a lot better than it was in the past and yeah a lot of people are considering trying this one out this is the build that i was actually using for the lk in this gameplay it's the owc ranger classic red dot the reason why i said red dot because the iron sights are kind of bad you can replace the red dot with that, whatever but Anyways, next on the list is the AS Val. The AS Val is also really, really good. It's one of the best assault weapons in this season. Like, I'm actually surprised that in the past, in a couple seasons, uh, when the AS Val came out, everybody said, oh, like, it's really good, it's really good, but then, like, nobody really played with it. It was kind of bad. It was just the hype. It was hyped up so much to the point where it's like, yeah, it's not that good. There's other guns that people can use, like the DRH or the Man of War, and they can destroy you easily. So a lot of people are using that, but now the AS Val is the king of the assault weapons and it's kind of good and it's really strong as well. I mean, there's other people that have been asking me like, oh, jokes, so what about the M, like Man of War or um, what about the DRH? Well, unfortunately they got kind of nerfed and not a lot of people are using it in rank anymore. Uh, there's some people that have used it, but they were just trying it out, seeing it for the first time that their gun has been nerfed. And most of the people are using like AS Val, like in assault weapons, are like the AS Val, the LK24, the KN44 has been spotted a couple times in rank matches as I was grinding for that. Here's the build that I was using for the AS Val. A lot of people are actually playing with it now in rank, and as you can tell, it's grown by its popularity. I've been actually using a couple of different attachments, but this is what the, uh, the Path and Viking recommended for this build. Next up on the list is the QQ9. There's actually two builds that I'm going to be showing you guys for this uh, QQ9. Uh, the first build is the one that I'm using right now. It's with the suppressor. Even though like a lot of people have said that the QQ9, as you can, if you guys can see that the gun is, has a bunch of recoil. Like you can see the gun is just shaking up a lot, and that's a lot of the, that's a lot of the um, the reasons why a lot of people stop using the guns because they don't like the shakes. They don't like to see their screen shaking up and that's totally understandable the only way to deal with this shake is to get used to it and that's about it so the suppressor is trying to balance that out and i honestly don't really think the suppressor needs to be added i'm gonna just add this build just in case a lot of you guys want to try it with a suppressor i honestly love suppressors on all of my submachine guns because i like to be silent and deadly when i play search and destroy but with this update, I feel like it's better to play without suppressors. At some point, you know, you're going to have to just adapt to whatever the current meta is. And everybody wants to have the best setup, you know, and everyone's trying things out, trying new things out. They're trying all their builds. So this is the first build that I have for you guys. You guys can try it out, give it a shot and see for yourself. So this is the second build. It's a lot better than the first one that I showed you guys because it doesn't have a suppressor that's number one and it replaces the suppressor with the grip tape so grip tape kind of helps you control the recoil even better so that's a great thing if you guys are looking for something to help you with that recoil control definitely take a look at this build this is the second on the list is the pp19 bison now bison is a very interesting weapon at first you know i i kind of hated it because i kept dying to it over and over and over and over and over again and now I'm kind of getting adapted to it. Basically, when I was playing with the Bison, 
I had a lot of problems and, and then I took a look at someone else's build and I realized that I had extended mags. Now ex extended mags kind of ruined it for me for a while because I was using that and other, other people were using different mags and that mag was so much better than the one that I was using. It was called Large Caliber B. That's what I think it's called. And I put that on and I realized how good this gun is. It's actually quite impressive that it's that powerful and I didn't notice you know, until later on. And I think I'm gonna be bringing up some content with this weapon as well to show you guys how this gun performs in ranked matches. And so this is the first, the first build. I'm gonna be showing you guys the second build in a second. So I'm just running around getting some kills to show you guys that this first build takes about four shots or well, three or four shots to kill. And that's kind of how it is with all the other builds. They're like three to four shots. And yeah, so this is the first build. I'm gonna replace the barrel with the grip tape. So now you have more bullet spread as well. So that's something that you guys could give it a shot if you're looking into something that maybe you wanna try something new. I recommend the second build than the first build. First build is pretty solid, but second build is more, I don't know how to explain it. It's just the bullet spread actually hits your shot. You can actually you, you know, be more accurate in a way. So yeah, that is it for the second top second weapon on this list. And we can just see how I'm just beaming everybody. It just has so much ammo. Next on the list, the last one is the QXR. QXR is the number one king of this season. I'm actually really happy that the QXR is pretty buffed and you might hate me or dislike me or whatever. I honestly enjoy this season. The past couple seasons, it's always been snipers that were the kings of all this, this whole entire game modes. Multiplayer, you keep on getting sniped all the time. And no matter what you did, try to improve or whatever, right? you always get sniped and now the meta is the qxr everyone's playing aggressive and it brings such a vibe to the game where it's like okay everyone's pushing i gotta learn and adapt to it and become really good at playing aggressive and it forces people to get out of this comfort zone and puts them into a spot where they're not comfortable and they learn from that they get better and they become stronger players in call of duty so i'm really excited for that i know this is a very very controversial topic <laughs> just get started on i haven't been happy in a long time but now that this season came out it gave me some joy because now you actually can win gunfights you're not just gonna get one shotted to death and you have no chance to actually fight back but now that everyone's using the the submachine gun you have a chance to actually win those gunfights and that's why i'm kind of happy it's like i get a chance to fight back so those this is my build for the qxr actually these gunsmith builds and attachments in all this list has been provided by path and biking they've been both helping me out a lot and honestly go check out their youtube channel down below in the description thank you so much for watching this video peace